If you are not currently utilizing ChatGPT in your LinkedIn content strategy, you're missing out on so much opportunity and you're probably wasting a lot of time. Here's the thing, if you want to grow your reach, position yourself as an expert and land new opportunities, you have to be posting content on LinkedIn. And ChatGPT has made this easier than ever. In this video, I'm going to show you the exact strategy and prompts to leverage ChatGPT to create a solid LinkedIn content strategy. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Cindy Dodd. I talk all things LinkedIn, marketing, career, and business success. If you are just jumping in on this video, this is part three in a three-part LinkedIn ChatGPT series. In part one, we optimized our headline, about section, and even got clear on our brand pillars, all utilizing ChatGPT. In part two, we revamped our experience section and skills and fully completed optimizing our LinkedIn profiles again using ChatGPT. And in part three, as we round up the series, we're talking about how to leverage ChatGPT for our content strategy. Highly recommend that you jump in at part one and watch all the way through because there are some key components that I don't want you to miss out on. And some of them we are gonna leverage in this video. With all of that said, if you are ready to leverage ChatGPT for your LinkedIn content strategy, click the like button and let's get straight to it. In part one, I showed you how to leverage ChatGPT to get clear on your brand. Specifically, we identified what our tone of voice was, what our positioning statement is, and our LinkedIn content pillars. So as a refresher slash reminder, I'm going to give you that prompt again in this video because this is the foundation of everything else that we're gonna build with our LinkedIn content strategy. It all starts with knowing what our goal is, identifying, do you want a new job? If so, what type of job? Do you want to attract new business opportunities? If so, what kind? We first need to get clear on what our goal is. What is the goal of our profile? With that in mind, let's create our brand and positioning statements because great content comes from understanding who you are and what your personal brand is. So here's that prompt again really quickly. Plug this into ChatGPT if you have not done this just yet. You are a branding expert. Ask me five simple, easy to answer questions to help me identify my tone, my positioning for LinkedIn based on my goal and my content pillars. The goal of my profile is, and here is where you are going to insert the goal of your profile. Think about and get clear on what exactly do I want to achieve with my profile? If you are a job seeker, identify exactly what type of role you want to land. If you are a business owner, determine if you want to build your thought leadership or attract new leads for your business. Maybe even build your authority. The more specific we can get here, the more clear we are on what the goal is of our profile, the better the results we are going to get with this process. So I could say something like the goal of my profile, I'm going to say, is to land a marketing director role at a fashion brand. So I got very specific, the title that I want, the industry or the type of company that I want to work with. And then we're going to end it with, I'm going to use these responses to build a cohesive standout LinkedIn profile so that ChatGPT knows exactly what our goal is. Here's a quick reminder, ladies and gents, this is key with ChatGPT. Garbage in equals garbage out. If I don't provide ChatGPT with enough relevant information and good information, it is not going to produce the best outputs. That's why you see so many people utilizing ChatGPT to optimize their LinkedIn profiles or create content, but the content is not good because they don't know what strategic inputs to give ChatGPT to produce the best outcomes. This is why I'm recording this video. So we're going to give ChatGPT this exact prompt. We're going to send it and it is going to ask us five questions that we then need to go in and answer. And the more detailed I am in my responses, the more information I give ChatGPT, the more solid my brand positioning, my tone and my content pillars are going to be. If you want more information about this, go back to part one. I just wanted to give a quick recap because the content pillars are especially critical as we are creating our content strategy. So we know what our goal is. We know what our brand tone, positioning, as well as content pillars are. Now our next step, step three, is to determine what type of content we want to post on LinkedIn. 
LinkedIn gives you the ability to create a variety of different content. And as a creator platform, you have the option to choose from text posts that are just captions. You could create articles or blogs. You could do videos, long form or short form videos. You could do carousels where you have people swipe through multiple slides. You want to create content based on what you would enjoy creating the most. I always say the way that you become consistent with content creation is to create the type of content that excites you. The reason why people start posting content and then drop off a few months later is that they haven't built the muscle of creating content that they really enjoy putting out. So maybe at first you create a variety of different content, or maybe right now you are clear on the fact that you love writing long form articles. That's great. Make sure you get clear on the format of the content that you want to produce. You also want to identify how many times a week you want to post. Maybe you want to post once a week and that's what you can do in order to be consistent. Maybe you can commit to posting two to three times a week every single week. Whatever the frequency looks like, the most important part is that you are consistent with that frequency. It is so much better to post once a week consistently than to post three times this week and then go ghost next week. Consistency is how you build a solid personal brand on LinkedIn. Now we're going to go back into ChatGPT with this specific prompt in order to get the output of content ideas so we don't have to do any of the guesswork on the type of content that we can post and create on LinkedIn. It's so important to have a running list of ideas and ChatGPT allows us to create that. The more ideas you have, you can always pull from it so that you never run out of potential content to post on your LinkedIn profile. Let's take a look. So here's the exact prompt we are going to use. You are a LinkedIn and marketing expert. Your goal is to create 50 content ideas in a simple, organized table. My brand content pillars are, and here's where we are going to insert the content pillars that we generated in the previous prompt. Remember, we answered the questions that ChatGPT gave us and the output was our tone, our content pillars, as well as our positioning statement. We are going to add these in here so that we can get the best output of content ideas that are relevant to us and our brand. So we're going to insert the content pillars. My tone is that you'll insert your tone. You can simply copy and paste exactly what ChatGPT gave you. My positioning statement is, and you insert that right there. I plan to create text video articles. So here, remember we got clear on what is the type of content that we enjoy creating the most or potentially want to create. So maybe I say, I plan to create articles and text posts. So I wanna focus more on just written content and post two times per week. So ChatGPT knows exactly how much to output and how many times I wanna post per week. Here is my website or my resume so you know more about me. If you are a business owner, feel free to copy and paste your website or even just put the link in because ChatGPT can also do web research. You can also upload your resume. Keep this in mind. The more information, the more inputs you give ChatGPT, the better the output. So don't just give it the pillars, the tone, and the positioning statement, add more information. In order for it to produce the best 50 content ideas tailored to you, it needs to know more about you. If you've created content in the past or even written previous articles, you can upload them here because that will give ChatGPT even more information to work off of and give you the absolute best output. So I will upload a sample resume here and let's see the output that it gives us. It tells me who my, my brand content is, my tone, my positioning statement, and it says it is ready to give me the 50 content ideas. And here you have outputted 50 amazing content ideas that you can work off of. And the best part is you can even use ChatGPT to create the content for these. Of course, we want to hear your experience and we want to see your voice shine through. So what's great is that we've been able to create these content ideas based off of us and not generic information that is out there on the internet. We have examples like three mistakes SaaS teams make when onboarding clients or five SaaS tools I'd never run a CS team without. Very custom to our role and very custom to us because it is our personal brand that we are building. With the sea of generic content that is out there right now because of the rise of AI, following these specific steps that I laid out
about in this video will help you stand out on LinkedIn and create a solid LinkedIn content strategy that makes you the go-to person in your industry or your field. And remember a bonus tip that I shared in part two, and that is if you are writing anything with ChatGPT, always make sure to remove M dashes from the output. What's an M dash? If you don't know, here's an example on my screen you will see that ChatGPT has this tendency to output M dashes and it does it often, especially in a lot of written text and paragraphs. Remove this from your output because it is a dead giveaway that your content was generated by ChatGPT. So keep that in mind the next time you produce a piece of content. I hope that you found this video in the three-part LinkedIn GPT series helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It helps so much. Go back and watch part one and part two if you have not yet. I laid out all my secrets around prompts and how to leverage ChatGPT in your LinkedIn strategy. I also have a free guide for you. If you want to level up on LinkedIn, whether you are a beginner just getting started or you are ready to go to the next level, download my free LinkedIn launch guide. I lay out over 32 pages of must know information on how to level up on LinkedIn. Click the link in the description to grab your free guide. Okay, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.